Hi, I'm George Perrin. I'm at the 2014 Grand National Roadster Show, and uh, we just won the America's Most Beautiful Roadster for 2014 with this 35 fate. I tell you, it's a, it's a really cool car, very rare. There's only 200 of these cars ever built. Now, it, it looks like it's restored, but it's moved everywhere a quarter inch, and it was a, it was a big team effort. Chip did a Foos did a render into the car about eight years ago, and uh, Wes Rydell has owned the car for about 30 years, so it's a very special place in his heart. And I tell you, there's a big mark, the, the um, uh, Marcells had, had their hands in it at one point. I got the car, it was the tub was done, the fenders were pushed forward. We did all the mechanical work, all the paint work, the hood, all the upholstery, um, all the assembly, and we did most of that in about the last four or five months. So we worked on it for about nine months and uh, got it together and said, hey, you know what, let's give it a shot. Let's go to the Roadster Show. We go every year for the last 10 years. Why not bring it? Uh, my favorite part of the car is kind of interesting. It's the rear gate on the car. It's, uh, it's very interesting. It folds down, has a trunk on it obviously because there's no room to haul anything inside the car so that's a very neat part we made a lot of it made all the linkage from scratch the wood but it's got a lot of, it's a very integral part of the car it's just something that we haven't done one of these cars before that's why it was so interesting to do because I just want to do different things. I mean, the styling's all over the place. You know, we had a 56 Buick Custom here, our Blowfish race car, and this car could probably go to Pebble Beach, you know, so it's, I just like doing different styles all the time. And hopefully the only way you can recognize them is through the fit and finish and the quality that we did it. Yeah, you know, the guys came through the shop. We had people coming out here last Tuesday, and they took pictures of the car and sent it around. They're like, well, where, when's that going to be done? And they're like, well, it's going to the Roadster Show. And they're like, no way. It was, it was just the tub. No doors, no sheet metal on it sitting there, you know, but we, you know, we had, we're pretty good at using up all the time. So we had, you know, we had it all planned out and we do everything in house. So, you know, it, it, it kind of helps not create any hiccups. So we're getting pretty good at uh, the final assembly and having a CNC in house and having the quality guys that I have. I mean, you can overcome a lot of odds. You know, this award makes me feel good because this is the only one I hadn't really won yet. We won the Riddler in 07. Um, we just won the inaugural uh, Barrett Jackson Cup award with our Torino this year. Um, we've won a lot of the awards over the years, but this is the one we tried one other time and I think 04 and didn't win. So it was nice to finally get this one, you know, uh, this feather in our cap. Um, just a testament to the guys at the shop to be able to do such different styled cars all the time and adapt. And uh, most of my guys are under 30, so we've got a young group there that's ambitious. And uh, Wes was very easy to work for. You know, he, ha he knew what he wanted. Uh, he came to the shop, visited, made all the guys feel special, you know. and. You, you, obviously, you're all getting paid, but when, they, when you have the owner really take each one of them aside and really appreciate it, you know, they put extra effort in and, um, you know, couldn't say more about Wes. You know, this show is very important every year to get to because I've been coming here 10 years and all the builders are here. I mean, it's the only indoor show and, and honestly, one of the only even out, including outdoor shows, that all of the top builders are here. You know, that we're all mutual friends and, you know, a lot of times we do all the infinite detail in these cars to show our peers, you know, and we want their respect. So, you know, it's the place to be and, you know, it gives us another deadline to hit, you know, and we like bringing, you know, George Poteet, I've been working for him a long time. He always wanted to bring the cars from the Midwest out here to show the West Coast, hey, we can build cars out over there too. So, um, you know, it's nice. So we've kind of made it a benchmark every year to get a new car out here. And uh, we've been pretty, pretty good at doing that. And I've only tried this award one other time back in 04. So it was nice. And, you know, Wes was really easy to work for, had his game plan all set out and had a lot of enthusiasm and kept the guys fired up. So, uh, you know, it was just a, it's a good finish to a great car. So uh, we're really excited about it and looking forward to next year.